The guys have been in really good spirits, you know, the training um, intensity has been good, it's been really good in fact, and the quality has been there, so, you know, it's been nice to have a few extra days, uh, they had a day off yesterday, and yeah, back in today now for that sort of, you know, run up to the finish line on, on Sunday for the game against Tusker. So, I'm assuming uh, ever since your first leg win against Tusker, you've had a chance to watch them after that. Uh, do you think they're they the same team you, you beat last time round, or is there a difference about them? Obviously, they've added a couple of players um, in the mid-season transfer window. Um, the new left-back, obviously, Levin joined them, who's very talented. Um, and there's one or two other changes in there. Obviously, um, Ojok's back playing regularly. He had a little period where he wasn't in the side. And they've had one or two sort of injuries who've come back. So, But in terms of their setup and their structure, there's not a lot of difference. You know, Tusker are a team who, they're what I would call a no-thrills team. You know, they, they know what they're trying to do. Um, they're very steadfast in their approach to the game, but they do it very well. You know, the way they play, they do it very well. And so we know that we've got to be at our best to break that down. And also, look, theres I don't think there's been a team in the league who scored more late goals. You know, but that shows you a great mental toughness on the, on the part of our opponents, that it doesn't matter whether they're winning, losing, drawing the game, that they go until the 95th minute. And you've seen several games where they've scored in the 91st, 92nd, 93rd minute. Um, and that's a credit to them and their coaching staff that they have that mentality so we know that it's not just about taking the lead on Sunday it's about making sure we're switched on for the entire 95 minutes. I think for us we're going to go full throttle we always do um, one of the things we've seen this season when we've competed against our rivals at the top of the table we've always come up with a big performance hasn't always been the result we've wanted you know we look at the games against KCB and even the game against AFC last week we played well there's no one who can come away from last week's game and say that Kogalo played poorly. We played a really good game and we we're really disappointed not to take the three points. But so we know we're going to turn up against Tusker. There's no, I've got no worry that we're not going to put in a performance. I know we'll put in a performance. It's just about being clinical on the day and making sure we convert our chances. The supporters, you know, it was a great turnout in the Derby last week. You know, I don't know exactly what the number was, but there must have been, I don't know, 15,000 green fans in the stadium. So it was a great day out for those guys in terms of their numbers. It's another weekend game. I know it's been challenging this season. Some of the games have been midweek, but it's a Sunday game. You know, come out. Hopefully it's good weather. Come out in your thousands and cheer us on for what is going to be a really important game in the title race.